Hello, this is Justin with Green Residential. So today I'm in a bedroom looking at some windows. Now, believe it or not, windows inside a bedroom are actually important because they potentially can serve as an emergency escape and rescue opening. So as an inspector, I examine these windows to see if they are of the minimum requirements and dimensions that code requires them to be. It's important that they're of a certain dimension so people can escape in the event of an emergency easily. So in this video, I'm going to examine code and see if these windows meet those minimum specifications to be deemed an emergency escape and rescue opening or what is commonly referred to as an egress window. Okay, I'm going to pick and choose a few things here that pertain to an egress window. Now, I'm not going to be talking about basements or anything like that. My main focus is egress windows where they're required in houses that do not have basements, primarily the first floor and the floor above or floors above that first floor. And I'm also going to narrow it just down to the size of the windows, basically. So basements, habitable attics, and every sleeping room shall have not less than one operable emergency escape and rescue opening. Now, in this case, that's talking about an egress window. Now, in theory, you could have a door that opens to the exterior that meets the requirements of the International Residential Code that could serve as an emergency escape and rescue opening. Where basements contain one or more sleeping rooms, an emergency escape and rescue opening shall be required in each sleeping room. Emergency escape and rescue openings shall open directly into a public way or to a yard or court having a minimum width of 36 inches that opens to a public way. So that path to the public way needs to be a minimum width of 36 inches. Now there's some exceptions for basements but we're not going to go into that. So the next one I want to bring your attention to is R310 2.1. Emergency escape and rescue opening shall have a net clear opening of not less than 5.7 square feet. Now there's an exception. The minimum net clear opening for grade floor emergency escape and rescue openings shall be 5 square feet. So if that window is on the first floor, the grade floor, it can be smaller. It can be 5 square feet versus 5.7. Here is another important thing to keep in mind. The minimum net clear opening height dimension shall be 24 inches. The minimum net clear opening width dimension shall be 20 inches. The net clear opening dimensions shall be the result of normal operations of the opening. It's just open the window, and that's it needs to be a minimum of 24 inches high and a minimum width of 20 inches. Here is the last one that I want to bring your attention to. Emergency escape and rescue opening shall have the bottom of the clear opening not greater than 44 inches above the floor. In the previous version of the International Residential Code, the 2018 version, it defined this as the window sill. So that has changed. So this number is to the bottom of the clear opening. So back to these windows here. So now that we know the dimensions, what a window should be in order to qualify as an emergency escape and rescue opening, we can measure this window and see if indeed it meets those minimum requirements. So here I have a tape measure and as you can see, the height is 27 inches. The minimum requirement for the height was 24 inches. So this meets that specification from the clear opening to the top of the window being 27 inches. So as you can see, the width here is 32 inches. So the minimum width required in code was 20 inches. And as you can see, the clear span opening of the width is 32 inches. So this also meets the minimum requirements specified in code. Okay, so now I'm measuring from the floor to the bottom of the clear opening. And as you can see, it is about 26 inches, which is within the 44 inches that code requires. So this also meets code. Okay, so now I'm outside, and as you can see, I'm at grade level. So if you recall the clear opening for the window, 
was 5.7 square feet. However, there was an exception, and that exception was if you are at grade level, it only needs to be 5 square feet. So if we take the measurements of the clear opening, which was 27 inches high by 32 inches wide, and we multiply that, that comes out to 864 square inches. If we divide that number by 144, that gives us a total of 6 square feet for the clear opening. Now, the minimum was 5 square feet. So this meets that code requirement. So this window is indeed an emergency escape and rescue opening or an egress window. If you found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. If you would like more information like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day and bye for now.